Welcome to a new week in the Shibiru Studio. Hi there, my name is Irene and welcome to a new week in the Shibiru Studio. It is Monday afternoon already. Um, started up my day with, I don't know, doing things in the studio. Um, haven't been really productive this morning, um, but this afternoon is going to change that because I decided that I'm going to dedicate my Mondays to output. Because I have been struggling a little bit with um, how much time I have for work since I uh, don't always have enough energy to do everything that I want. So some weeks are really good in making output and with output I mean uh, posts on Instagram or placing YouTube videos online or making newsletters. All those things are pretty important when running a business because otherwise you guys don't know what I'm up to or what is new or when a pattern is released and uh, yeah that I think that is one of the most important things uh, when running a business of course you need to do things and create but also need to share about it because uh, yeah that's kind of necessary when you uh, you make things and you want to sell patterns and want people to uh, know that you made a tutorial. So uh, output, pretty important. And I decided that I'm going to dedicate my Mondays to making output so that I start my week with that instead of thinking, oh, my newsletter is going out on Friday. I'll do that at the end of the week, which never happens because at the end of the week, I don't know, I'm playing catch up with everything that I didn't do during the week. So, starting my Monday with um, output and also um, using my planner in uh, the correct way, or correct way, um, using my planner in such a way that makes sense. So I am kind of color coding with when I'm going to um, post on Instagram, when I'm doing YouTube videos, when I'm having newsletters, so that it's nice and visual. I think that works better for me than putting it on uh, my to-do list, Asana. Uh, that's my digital to-do list. But I think visual works better for me. So with markers and pens. Yes, so I think this is a good strategy. I'm going to try it out, see where it goes. And uh, well, I have you as my accountability buddy because probably in the next vlog I'm going to tell you how it's going and uh, how this is working out. But for now I'm going to plan out Instagram posts. Uh, I have some pretty pictures that I would love to share. Uh, write a fun newsletter for the Tackle That Whip. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, post some Q&A videos and um, the vlog from last week online that I just got in from my editor Fleur and um, yeah let's let's do some stuff I have quite a amount of Q&A videos filmed and edited and all ready to go but um, I'm not sure why, but the publishing part of the videos just keeps on my to-do list. Um, so it's time to just upload them all to YouTube and make the thumbnail photos and plan them all out in my, uh, in my calendar and publish one every week. Um, so that's the that's the plan for this year. A Q&A video every week and a vlog. Uh, every two weeks or an extra video but um, yeah every week one Q&A so that's what I'm doing now
So this was a really nice Monday afternoon. I planned in a ton of Q&A videos that all go live once a week. So that is a lot of weeks worth of content uh, and fun questions that are going up on YouTube. And if you want to help me out by sending in your questions, that would mean a lot. So it will be so much fun if you have a quilty question, if you want to post that in the comments down below or send it to me uh, to info at shiridu.com. Uh, I would love to answer your questions. Maybe you have a quilt that you don't know how to quilt it. Just send me a pic picture um, uh, to my email and uh, I would love to think that through in a video if you would like that or if you have any question about the studio, about quilting, about running a quilting business, just pop it in and I might record a video about it for the Q&A Tuesday. So two things I wanted to show before the day ends. I finished the binding on the table runner that I was working on in the previous video. So that one is done, one of the whips that's done. And this was the other quilt that I was quilting on. That also got a nice binding and it's done. It has some crazy quilting, as you can see over here, but it's really fun. I uh, went all out with the quilting to really um, uh, accentuate the block that is in this quilt. And something else that is here on the floor is the Alabella quilt that I'm going to uh, to baste uh, probably this evening or otherwise tomorrow morning so then it's all ready to be quilted. Very fun feeling productive by just doing a tiny bit every day, trying to do a tiny bit every day and it makes a huge difference and I also think I <laughs> I also think that you create momentum by doing a tiny bit every day and seeing that progress. It makes me so happy that things are moving forward that I also want to check off all the other things from my uh, uh, Tackle That Whip list. Talking about the Tackle That Whip list, I have to check off a few projects because I finished the binding on the quilt so let's check something off well, i finished the quilting on this one i be do have to baste it i only cut it so almost done and i did two bindings i did this binding oh, that means that's a finish and i did this binding so i really really want to start doing this binding as well because that's such a huge quilt and the quilting is all done so hopefully i'll check off that box later this week hello there tuesday today in the afternoon uh, because this morning sana was here and she helped me assemble more and more bundles for the book so that is awesome so that they are all ready and set to go as soon as the book is finished. Um, a nice sunny day today. Uh, and I, this morning I did administrative stuff, taxes, not a lot of fun, but very necessary to do, of course. So I'm very happy that that is off my list. Uh, everything is now at my uh, accountant, bookkeeper, I'm not sure the word. Yes, so that's good. And then I get to do something fun, I guess. I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do this afternoon, um, but I think I'm going to make a start with quilting this quilt. Um, I picked out a backing and uh, not sure, did I show this yesterday? I'm not sure, but I picked out a backing and the front is ready and I cut the batting so I can baste that and then I can start quilting it a little bit. And something that I really want to do, that I need to do, is contact the um, printer for my book in the US. And I was uh, postponing that, um, procrast procrastinating on that, because I'm not completely sure the specifics uh, that are needed for my book. So I first have to figure that out 
and then send an email to the publisher well publisher printer uh yes so that must be done this afternoon but first let's baste and quilt let's see who's behind this door who's there ha how am i in the stool in the stool Kuto. There we go, all nicely braced, already cuddly. I'm not going to quilt this too intense. I want to do some uh, echoing, so going around the shapes that are already there, and then do a um, background filling uh, figure structure uh, pattern. Yeah, so. Uh, overall pattern that was the word that i was looking for the overall pattern to fill up the space to uh, to keep it nice and soft and cuddly so i'll start with um going around the shapes probably the letters because that will be most work i think so uh, yeah let's start with that How good this looks it really makes the letter pop so I went for a 30 weight thread that is a little bit thicker than a normal 40 or 50 weight thread uh, at the bottom I'm using 50 weight but with this 30 weight it just accentuates the stitches a little bit more and I really like how the letter really pops out by stitching just around the outer edge so not stitching in a ditch, but just a little bit around it. Love it! So we're going to repeat this for all the other letters. the book so um, I need to contact a printer that I came across during quilt market um, so I have that contact but now I need to ask them to make an um, what is the word what is the word uh, Google Translate says quotation. So I went to ask them a quotation and um, a, a date. Um, how long is it going to take to print an X amount of books? So before that quotation, I need some data. I need to know roughly um, what kind of um, outside of the book, what kind of pages, how many pages, how big. Um, for the paper beating patterns, I want to work with an insert. Um, that you can fold open so a big paper where all the patterns are so that it won't be a super thick book with a lot of black and white uh, pattern pages on them but just a big sheet that you can use to trace your patterns on i think that would be lovely and then there will be a digital version the pdf version and that of course won't have the big paper so if you have the one to have the pdf version of the book so it's easily printable then everything will be split out on normal pages um yeah so i'm going to figure that out 
and then I'm going to email the printer. Yes, I can do this. Oh, and by the way, good thing when your child doesn't like a type of candy. He tried it twice, but he doesn't like Smarties. Oh well, then I'll take them. I was just going through this box of stuff that I have um, still from Quilt Market uh, because I needed to find their contact details that should be in here. Um, but there's so many goodies as well that I got for me, so not in a goodie bag that we gave away in the last video. But a lot of stuff like pretty fabric samples. This is from Benartex made by Nancy Helforsen. Uh, also Benetex fabrics, that's already over there. Patterns that I bought for myself, so not, not everything in here is gifted, but a lot of it is, but these I thought, I think this is such a cool, cool quilt. And I was very curious how the pattern is filled up with those uh, rounded shapes. A lot of information, materials, also some fun projects that I'm going to work on um, for which I got materials to make a video on so uh, let's see is that in here should be here somewhere yes so this one this is a company called laser cut laser cut and they make uh, like the double-sided applique uh, material the, the sticky stuff, the stuff that sticks when you uh, iron it. Uh, they already printed the pattern on there for this cute buddy. And uh, so it's super easy to make. And I wanted to try it and uh, they said that's, uh, that's fine. So I'm going to make this um, soon and try it out and tell you what I think. But I thought it was very cool to print a applique pattern on here. So that's fun and also something that I got from Sassafras Lane is this pattern and I love it so so much. So um, uh, a big a big red bus with all those animals. I would love to make this. I'm not going to start yet. I think this is going to be uh, Kind of a gift for me when I cross off a lot of my work in progresses that I then can start with this one. I just love it. And my mom has the first version, so this is the Zootropolis 2, uh, but there's also a Zootropolis 1, and I think I'm going to pick all my favorite animals from the two books and then, um, because you can mix and match them, I think, yes. Uh, yeah, I think you can mix and match them. So I'm going to. Um, uh, pick out my favorites and put those in the bus. So that's a lovely fun project. Um, let's see, did I have something else? Yeah, I have also something, but that's already over there. Um, a pattern uh, by Annie. So that is a huge um, bag to store your uh, cutting mat and all your cutting, sewing stuff. And that will be awesome for when I go on a quilting retweet weekend or something like that. And they gifted me all the materials uh, to give it a try. Uh, the pattern and the, the, the um, stabilizer. Um, so that's, that's really fun. I already started cutting out pieces. But I was a little bit um, scared, maybe. Is that a good word? for uh, Because it's a huge project. It's a huge project. I wasn't really prepared for that, but that is also going to be in a video. So that is fun. Here we have some Steam Seam 2, but then the light. So I have the Steam Seam 2, just the normal normal version, but this is the light. So um, yeah, this is a little bit thinner. Could be a nice comparison. And this is a uh, paper by Solfi. Um, it's water soluble stabilizer, so um, that could be uh, cool to do foundation paper piecing on and then dissolve the, the, the paper. So 
Oh, and here. This is also fun. Fun, fun reminder. And uh, I just kind of forgot about it. So much things to do that I forgot a little bit about my quilt market box. Look, see. That is my quilt market use them bin. How cool is that? Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff. Got a little sidetracked. Can't wait to start this one. Um, but what I was going to find was a card with contact details because I mapped out a little bit. Well, I mapped out not a little bit i mapped out as good as i could how many pages there will be in the book so now i'm making the email sending it out trying to see if i can get some more information on this it would be lovely to get a deadline and when they say uh, they can print it in three months i have no clue maybe they say they can print it in six months or in a year because that will then be the deadline for the book so i hope it's 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 soon ish but i really have no clue there we go send out the email so now we wait until uh, they get back to me and i can get maybe a time span to uh, to work with um yeah pretty exciting this is a first step towards really printing the book um so for that was that for that task uh, I'm not sure. I didn't think of what I should do next. So let's just take a minute and think about what's wise to do now and uh, let's see what we do with the rest of the afternoon. There was the rest of the afternoon. Did I show you this? I put on a binding last week, but I can't remember if I showed you yesterday. I'm just pretty proud of it. This is a table runner that I was working on in the other video. And I put on a machine binding. So then what I do is I put a binding on on the front. Um, focus. Yes, I put a binding on on the front and then fold it over to the back and glue baste it. And then I stitch again on the front. Uh, you can't see it here, those tiny stitches there on the front, and that secures it to the back. So, um, yeah, very happy with how that turned out. So that table runner is all done and did the same for uh, this quilt. So. Not sure if I showed you yesterday, but if I did, just pretty proud of how that turned out. And um, I also started quilting baby quilt for my book. And um, that also turns out nicely. It's bright and happy. Um, with a nice yellow backing. For this one, I'm doing a grid uh grid quilting there you go so this is a grid quilting and i'm going to add lines in between because i love a smaller quilt and i said baby quilt but this one it's well it's quite big but it's uh it's perfect size for i don't know a, a two-year-old bed is that still called a crib i think so so yeah, that is nice and lovely and work in progress. So yeah, I think that's it. Maybe I can quilt, let's see what time it is. I can quilt a little bit on the giraffes. And then uh, the afternoon is done. Tomorrow morning, time to start with some running. And um, yeah, see you there.
morning. I am back from running with my running group. I do that almost every Wednesday morning. And uh, today was the last run before uh, my race. I'm going to do a race of 15 kilometers. I've been training for that for a few months. And uh, it's the first time that I'm going to run such a long distance. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, that is this Sunday. Um, so lovely run this morning. And for today, I kind of have to get my plan together. First something from the whole suit. I ordered a few new colors. Blue and blue. I would love to um, expand my Kona cotton selection a little bit. So I'm looking at the color groups that I have and trying to make a um, wider range of colors in my rainbow uh, so that I can also make solid fabric bundles uh, which would be lovely, uh, a lovely addition to the web shop. There we go again, the battery died. Um, yeah, so Kona, new Kona colors coming into the shop soon and um, um, probably also rainbow bundles in solids. So that is awesome. In the meantime, I also uh, got my planner and made myself some tea. Important start of the day in the studio. Ooh, quick tip, don't put your tea, hot tea or coffee on a cutting mat. That will uh, do this, this form. Mm, well, the mat doesn't like heat, so be careful with hot tea. Um, yeah, so my planner uh, up for today, newsletter writing for this Friday. Um, I want to quilt on the giraffe quilt for 30 minutes. I thought if I do that every day, then it will soon be done. Um, and I want to make a blog for the blog of the month program that we do uh, with our modern quilt guild. With the Dutch modern quilt guild, we host this year a uh, blog of the month. Well, I say we, I'm not uh, part of the board um, or, or the organization anymore. So the uh, Dutch modern quilt guild hosts a blog of the month this year. And I designed blog number two, which is coming up. Um, this month, it's the 1st of February today, but I haven't made the first block yet. So I wanted to do that last night, but it didn't get much further than picking out fabrics. We'll show you in a second. Um, so I want to make a block for January, block of the month, and work on the uh, big pattern um, insert that will go into my book. So figure out how that will look, how that will, how big that needs to be. Um, yeah, I want to work on that. So let me show you what is on my cutting table here because it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I found that I have an awesome big stash of Sassafras Lane fabrics. Here we have some more pinks and purples. Going to make the first block with that. Look at that. How cool of a rainbow is this? So these are multiple different fabric lines by Sassafras and I love it. By the way, if you live in the Netherlands and you want to join or if you're Dutch and you live somewhere else, it's also no problem. Or if you're not Dutch but do live in the Netherlands, that's all fine. If you want to become a member of the Dutch Modern Quilt Guild, go check it out. I will put a link in the description down below. Um, because it's not expensive to join and uh, it is a super fun project that we're doing this year. We also host um, online uh, Zoom bees. So every two weeks there is a Zoom call uh, quilt bee, uh, which is awesome. Um, that started due to COVID and now uh, they're still doing it. So that's cool and um, you can join. So no matter where you live in the Netherlands, um, you can join in and um, so this is one of the layouts for the block of the month and 
I think it's really cool because they made it in such a way that you get a small like cutting page where you can cut out the pattern. So this is the pattern, the first pattern of the, the month. I will show you when the, the block is finished as well. But you can place that in here. So what I did was print out the big layout and just put in numbers 1 to 12 because there's going to be 12 blocks and um, kind of made a color gradient. So this is going to be blue, teal, green, yellow, orange, pink, purple-ish. So yeah, that's the plan. So now for January I would need to make these blocks. Yeah. And this month, February, my blog also foundation paper piecing is coming up. And the also fun thing about this block of the month is that every quarter, every three months, 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 there's a different technique. So this quarter is foundation paper piecing and then uh, the first block is going to be easy and then the second block is going to be a little bit harder and the third block is going to be a little bit more complicated. So uh, every quarter has a different theme uh, with three... Uh, different types of blocks so I think this is a really going to be a cool project and I'm going for that whole rainbow and then the background fabric that I'm going to use are these fabrics yeah so maybe also going to add in some white if I can find a white that is very compatible with this one um, but that's the plan I think it's going to be a super happy project And they are all the blocks for the first month and I am making the big quilt layout so you can also go for a smaller one or just a pillow where you just need uh, one uh, one block for each month but I'm doing the big layout making a big quilt so I have to make a lot of blocks for each month yeah I'm pretty sleepy since lunch so I think I'm going to uh, work on the Q16 for a bit and uh, call it a day. I'm going to send out that newsletter on Friday so I can also write that Friday morning. Um, yeah, I think that's the plan. So half an hour, some something like that on the Q16 and then uh, uh, time to uh, call it a day. Mm, this little mister already called it a day been sleeping here since I got back from running <laughs> what a life you have what a life sleeping sleeping all day Starting my day where I left off on Wednesday afternoon, um, I echoed all the shapes 
on the quilt and now I'm trying to decide what to do with the space in between and this is a very fun idea book um, yeah and there are some fun ideas uh, that I would love to try but not really confident enough yet to uh, to go for it um, I thought something like a, a brick wall kind of structure would be cool uh, but not sure um, if I would like the execution of it because it's a lot of straight lines and I'm going up and down mm, not sure because I think something with rounded shapes would suit the quilt better I'm a, I would love to have it like a, a soft feeling so that maybe round shapes would be better and, but something I also like is this so a line and then with a little shape that can be done with the lollipop rulers that I have but those shapes are pretty small so maybe something like this but then free-handed so like a wavy line and then something like a circle-ish and then a wavy line maybe something like that but that will be free motion and not ruler work and I'm I feel safer with ruler work but well some ideas and um, I'll just let it rest and uh, think about it a little bit more to decide what I'm going to do so now it's finally time to write that newsletter so writing that email uh, took a little bit longer than I thought I'm still working on it and then now it's lunchtime um, the mailing system I'm using I switched from their old system old version to the new one and then I don't know something didn't go right with subscribers so some sub but that's all sorted out really happy that that's good now I'm all merged to the new version and now uh, I get to finish this email and have some lunch yeah. Newsletter all done so I think it's time to clean up my table mess on this side uh, and ship out one more order that just came in so that everything is shipped out and done uh, before the weekend that would be nice and then I also have a clean space over here so when I will have a little bit of time over the weekend to do some sewing that I also have a clean space to do it in don't have a project box yet for this one so let's just put it in here and at least I can clean my table there we go what else this also goes there this is for your order fabric scrubbies from doing foundation pig piecing this always makes me really happy but um, expect or but I don't ha really have a use for it mm, maybe you can stuff a pin cushion with it but besides that if you have ideas for those trimmings what, what do you do with it I'm curious These are the freezer paper templates of the blocks that I made for the block of the month project I'm just going to save them Maybe I want to make some extra blocks further along the year. It's always so much quicker to put everything away than it is in my, my head. It always feels like, like such a big task. Okay, so let's pack the order and then it is time for the weekend. Yes, so that means also almost the end of this week's vlog. Yes. Yes, it was a fun week. I really love that I could do a lot and had a lot of sewing time. And um, yeah, really enjoyed this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
and um, yeah thank you <laughs> for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video just let me know in the comments down below uh, what things you would love to see during a week vlog next time I'm uh, planning to do this every two weeks so uh, every every other week yep so let me know and I'll see you again in the next video bye